Hi, I'm Eric with Crandall Office, and today we're going to take a look at how to convert and install a stool kit on the Aeron Classic chair. Let's have a look. Now this video can be used for if you either A, order the chair with a stool kit and you're assembling it for the first time, or B, you've ordered the Aeron Classic and you've decided you just need a little bit more height so you want the stool kit. Now these are the tools you're gonna need. A hammer, a pipe wrench, the included foot ring, and cylinder. Now first things first, we're gonna have to remove the cylinder from the chair. Now the best place to do this is on a solid work surface because you're going to have to exert some force on this uh, cylinder to get it out. So you wanna make sure that whether it's a small table like this or however you've got it set up, you want it to be solid to where the chair is not going to fall over. Just like that. Then you're gonna grab your pipe wrench. You're gonna to wanna to get it as close to this shoulder up on the bottom of the, uh, the seat pan. Now you may need to exert a decent amount of force to get this off. And as you're twisting, you're gonna lift up. Next is we're going to remove the old cylinder from the base of the chair. And you do that by just giving it a solid whack right there on the bottom. Now sometimes this sleeve right here is gonna pop out. That just goes right back in place. Take your new cylinder, ours was a top activated, and you're just gonna slide that right there. Then you're gonna take your optional foot ring. You don't necessarily have to have this, but just if you feel like you want a little something to stick your feet on, it's, it's, it's part of the option. You're gonna install that just like so. Now remember, this foot ring is simply to rest your feet on. It is not a step. Now the next step is to just put the top of the chair back on the cylinder. And there you are. Now that we've got the chair back together, we're gonna test and make sure that the cylinder is still operable. It should be, but just in case, it's best to check it now. And how you can tell is if, when you're sitting on it, it doesn't go up or down. But when you raise it up, it stays up. And this here is where that added foot ring comes in nice. <sighs> Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. How am I gonna get up here? <sighs> now if you do need to adjust that set screw, this is how you get access to it. We use a plastic trim removal tool, but you can use any flat tool like a flathead screwdriver or you just gotta be careful not to mar up the front of this clamshell here. And there you are. The two different scenarios in which the cylinder wouldn't work is if the set screw is too loose and when that happens, when you activate the switch, the cylinder will not activate and the chair will not go up or down. Or if it's too tight, it will automatically activate the cylinder and it will not stay down when you lower it. So how to fix these issues, if it's too loose, you're gonna take a four millimeter Allen key, stick it right there in the set screw and do a quarter turn clockwise or to the right. Now remember you wanna do quarter turn adjustments at a time and test it between each time. Now, if it's too tight, you need to loosen it. So you're gonna take that same four millimeter Allen key, put it in the set screw, and again, do quarter turns, but this time counterclockwise or to the left. And then test it between each time. You just put this cover back on. You start by lining up these two front tabs in the front. and then squeezing it all together. Just like that. Thank you for watching today's video on how to convert or install a stool kit on an Aeron Classic chair. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. And as always, have a good day. Hi, I'm Eric, oh. <laughs> now to install the tie. Hi, everybody. Um.
I, I, I don't want to sit there and fiddle around with that on the video. Can I will gladly pay you Friday for a hamburger today. Why am I having such a difficult time with this? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. You're just an idiot. <laughs>